Empty. What do you want from me? I can't go. Creature stands on long stilt-like legs, antennae hanging from his head like a woman's hair, white and curled at the tips. It is no more than five steps away from you. The segmented antennae move with apprehension, searching for something that's not there. Reed-like tufts stick out of its joints. As the insect moves its forearms, it produces a faint hiss, like a reel-to-reel -reel machine spinning after the tape breaks. The hiss is different from the strings you heard before. It says something else in a lower pitch. Slowly, with your breath held, you take two small steps toward the phasmid. The creature lets out a series of ultrasonic clicks that swarm around your head like swallows. Like laughter, a sort of happiness. Sweat drips from your brow, soaking your chest. You reek of it, your chemicals. Hissing and clicking, it extends its mandible-like antennae to greet you. You're right below it now, looking up at the colossal chitin of its white limbs. The head of the creature is crowned by reeds, and its eyes are like small droplets of water. No reply. A total ancient silence comes from its mouth, along with what appears to be some kind of foam. The stridulations of its limbs continue all around you. You were right. Little bubbles form on the mouth parts of the creature, on its segmented lower lip. It looks to be foaming, slowly. The foam is white, then yellowish. The faintest smell like you've never felt before, like burnt roses. Careful, it may be poisonous. The foam slowly turns a darker shade, like burnt caramel, as the insect moves its mouth parts, masticating. The little bubbles begin to burst, one by one. Let it out. I eat it. species of the order Phantasmodia, endemic to the Insulindia Isuma. For the last 350 years, I have hidden in plain sight, masquerading as the reeds, molding, combing myself, unfolding at night to play with trash bins and boys. It may have unknown, dangerous biochemical characteristics that help it maintain its camouflage. I went unnoticed by the first settlers and the land surveyors of the Sasserin. Also, by the soldiers of the revolution and the officials of the occupation. Even the Seminese islanders who came here first, but did not stay, have not seen me. 
I have stayed here in through four forms of government and two scientific revolutions until I was accidentally discovered by a detective of the cities of Malaysia in Revolution, district of Martinez, March 51. Yes, I do not have a start to display, so I use a newer degenerative element to aid in camouflage. Do not worry, it is only destructive over long periods of time. No, you are. The moral of our encounter is, I am a relatively medium life form, while it is you who are a total extreme madness. A volatile senior nerve system, ominously new to the planet. The pale too came with you. No one remembers it before you. The Nidarians do not. The radially symmetrics do not. There is an almost unanimous agreement between the birds and the plants that you are going to destroy us all. You are a violent and irrepressible miracle. The vacuum of cosmos and the stars burning in it are afraid of you. Give me enough time, you will wipe us all out and replace us with nothing. Just by accident. We suspect it would be something like the oxygen holocaust that wiped out anaerobic life 2.6 billion years ago when organisms first started breathing. Only much worse. Everything your eyes touch goes back there, behind the nerve mirror. What if you blink? Are we still here? Please don't blink. What if he misplays us all one day or just forget? your eyes and open them to see that none of this ever existed. What were you born to detect? I can also detect pheromones. The ones on you tell me that you will not eat me and that I will benefit from your closeness. In short, I love you. It doesn't look like that, no. You're just staring at it. Is it somehow related to the case? I think we should take the picture, and then you should back away from the unstudied species. Tell me what it's like for you. your illness. For me, it is not like that. I have states, not the emotions. For example, I experience excitement and unexpected sugar rewards. But that is not important. Now I will tell you how it is for me. For me, 
is a series of half-lit images, a kind of darkness being intruded upon, transient, deep, moist, shapes of plants and animals, and internal sensations, a swarm of sounds, tiny vibrations on the inside of my forearms, all speak of complexities totally beyond my understanding. I am at the end of an era funnel, weightless, so light, it only feels like something to be me. In truth, perhaps I'm nothing. I certainly do not have a soul. And if I did, it would never ache. Are you sure? Sometimes, when molting, I will grow a lost limb. One time something went wrong, and a small leg replaced a missing antenna. No, the leg tried to move around independently, making it hard to walk. Yes, thankfully someone ate it. The next time I mold it, I grew an antenna again. Not even the birds know that. I think we should eat it. If it's a leaf, you can put it in your mouth. Or read. Yum yum. Wait, so... Yes, I once cloned myself and ate the little ones. It was winter, and I woke up at the wrong time. It was an accident. Now, there is one more. You. I also have one more thing to say to you before you go. That woman, turn from the ruin. Turn and go forward. For all mankind. You cannot lie to me. Behind you, it smells of fires. So awfully far you were prepared to go in her presence. And it. She was held on Earth. It doesn't take a three meters thick insect to tell you that. The insect stops its stridulation, seeming to observe you. Below its crown of reeds, little pinprick eyes detect motion, glittering. The world stands still around you. Suddenly, there is silence. No. Stop. Be afraid. As you do, the invertebrate comes to life, its limbs moving independent of each other, as if each has a mind of its own. They are white like stalks of porcelain knitting above you. Shift.